In this video I'm going to be talking about the part of fortune through the houses. Hi, I'm Alison Price. I'm an astrologer in Vancouver, Canada, and astrology is my passion. I'm here to share with you more details about the part of fortune, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the part of fortune through the houses. If you want to go back to find out how to do the calculation for the part of fortune, you can check out this video right here. So let's have a look at the part of fortune in the houses. When the part of fortune is in the first house, it suggests your fortune comes through personal charisma and strength of your personality. Your face is your fortune. When the part of fortune is in the second house, it indicates that finances and acquisitions, such as art collections and what have you, will be fortunate for you. When the part of fortune is in the third house, it shows that your fortune will come through your siblings, school and learning and books and by means of community neighbours and your local environmental activities. When the part of fortune is in the fourth house it supports a fortunate family and shows one which may be wealthy and a good childhood environment that sets you up for life. When your part of fortune is in your fifth house it suggests your fortune will come through speculation perhaps on the stock exchange or lottery wins and also through your children doing well in life. When the part of fortune is in the sixth house, it indicates that your fortune will come through daily activities and your work. This placement suggests that your job can be very lucrative, even if it is in the service industry. When the part of fortune is in the seventh house, it indicates that your fortune will come through your partnerships and this typically means your marriage, um, your husband or wife is likely to be better off financially than you are. All business partnerships will be a great benefit to you when your part of fortune is in the seventh house. When your part of fortune is in the eighth house, it indicates your fortune will come through inheritances, insurances and annuities. You'll also gain through tax by being scrupulous and getting rebates and so on. You can gain through your partner's investments as well. When the part of fortune is in the ninth house, it suggests your fortune lies in another land and that you may have to travel to gain your fortune. This can be closer to home in being involved with international things or people. You can also be fortunate in publishing books. You can be fortunate through the church or, relig or religion in some way that will favour you. You may be fortunate because of your philosophies in some way and you can be fortunate to have a good education. So that is when the part of fortune is in the ninth house. When the part of fortune is in the 10th house, it indicates you'll be fortunate in the public eye, either through your chosen career or perhaps politics. Your reputation will be good and benefit you even through difficult times. You will be fortunate to be well-known, famous and have status. When the part of fortune is in the 11th house, it indicates that you will be fortunate through your associations with others either in causes or groups, and you may have friends that provide support financially and are generous on your behalf. You can benefit through the people you know. When the part of fortune is in the 12th house, it indicates you can benefit through institutions such as hospitals, libraries, prisons or zoos. You can be quite fortunate in your private life. Your fortune is likely to be kept quiet. You may consider yourself fortunate when you give it all away and surrender your money to others in charitable ways. You may also squander any fortune that comes your way. It's a tricky one. So normally the part of fortune indicates the realm through which fortune will come to you. It's one of those moot points um, of an astrology that if you have a well-placed part of fortune, it will help and support you. But if you have perhaps a, a not so well-placed part of fortune, it doesn't detract from from your chart, it's really just more of a neutral statement. If the part of fortune is on an angle, it becomes prominent and when conjoined with the ascendant is as top billing in your chart. So when the part of fortune is conjoined the, the ascendant, this shows us that you are born at a new moon because the sun and the moon were together and therefore the part of fortune and the ascendant are together and that is a very powerful position in the first house, exceptionally so. 
So there you have a little bit of a roundup on the part of fortune. It's one of those, it's a point in astrology, it's not a planet. It's one of those things that you tend to get to learn perhaps in the second or third year when you're doing astrology. But it's interesting because a lot of people who will come to you for a reading will say, will I be rich? A lot of the questions are about love and money. And this is definitely something that you would use when you're doing financial interpretations or saying, well, where is the fortune? and so on. You can take it one step further and you can say, well, say for instance, your point of your part of fortune is perhaps at 10 Taurus and anyone who has their moon at 10 Taurus, who is born at the point when the sun is there, will be fortunate for you. It's kind of an interesting thing uh, to consider as well. Again, you want to, first you really do need to understand the natal chart and then you can bring in the part of fortune and it will show you where you're going to be fortunate and it can be quite surprising at times where fortune lies and where the person actually considers themselves to be fortunate and it's not always money as I said earlier. I'd like to thank everyone who supported me in the making of this video I could not have done it without you. If you know which position your part of fortune is in you can write it in the comments below. If you did enjoy my video do consider subscribing and give me a like or share the video with people who, who may benefit. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Now and then I share with you some what do astrologers do all day snippets about what, how life goes on behind the scenes. Enjoy! <laughs>